Behind that gold door, the stars of Fiddler on the Roof are making an original cast recording. For today's Pop Poll, we asked them about making an album that'll live on till the end of time. This is a very important day. This recording will literally be listened to after we're long gone and dead. So with all that pressure, how do you prepare your voice to sound like super golden for the day? Are you, Paul, are you trying to make me feel more crazy nervous than I already am? Preserve your voice, keep quiet, unless you're actually singing. Maybe not do interviews like this between takes. Well, you know. <laughs> I went uh, to the gym. I ate a lot of food. I like got everything going. And I got here and I still sounded busted. Well, uh, I have in my contract that I get auto-tuned if I don't sound. No, I'm totally kidding. Um, <laughs> just like an auto-tuned matchmaker. That'd be unbelievable. This score is super catchy. So are there any like earworms that you just can't get out of your head from this score? Without exception, it's... um. From Lachaim. It's just like you'll be walking down the street and you're like, Little bird, little chavala, little bird. I'm gonna do like Frank Sinatra. Little chavala, you were always such a precious little thing that those aren't even the words. I feel like tradition because I didn't realize how much that word comes up in conversation or like on TV. Playing with matches, a girl can get burned. Somebody will say like, oh, you know, the tradition, tradition. Like I'm like, oh, dang it. There's this trombone solo that goes. It, it, it happens a couple times in the show. And for whatever reason, that's the one thing that I can never get out of my head. I actually hear Rich Man in my head a lot because I love it so much and I, I love the way Danny sings it, but uh, I hear him singing it in my head. <laughs> I don't really sing it myself. And he's always singing in your head. In my head, yeah. <laughs> if you were going to screw up one thing, what would it be? Is there anything in this show that maybe you have a history of screwing up or any lines or any? Uh, I don't have a history of screwing up. You know when I sing, Hoddle, oh Hoddle, have I made a match for you? He's handsome, he's young. Sometimes I mix it up with the one that comes in the next verse, and I go, he's handsome, he's tall, all right, he's 62, and then the joke is totally dead. We just did Miracle of Miracles, and I was like, wonder of wonders, miracle of miracles, God. To buy the hand. I'm just gonna get that egg right off my face, and uh, you can eat it if you'd like it. Mm, salt and pepper? No, I'm not gonna screw up anything. Shh, Ugh. why do you even say that? Thank you.